Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Monster Hunter World. Today we're going to be reviewing the health region augmentation for the Insect Glaive. Many of you have been asking for this for a while, and we were unable to actually make the video due to unforeseen circumstances there for a little while, but we're finally back and able to make this video for you now. So we're going to go ahead and do this in the same fashion we were showcasing health region on the previous weapons, where we're going to be completely naked. Now we do have health region on the Grunge Storm right now and i do not have anything else equipped to boost this effect so we'll see what it's like completely naked and then we'll go ahead and get the full kinsect boost and we'll kind of just go up and up and see just how good we can get this to be with the insect glaives we're just going to do some basic land combos now we can also try and mess around with it in the air a little bit but obviously it's not going to be as good as fighting with a monster but then at the end of this video we'll also make a build for this and showcase it with some actual monster gameplay so hope you guys all enjoy the video let's go ahead and do this so now our base attack right now is 775 we do have an attack boost right now just from eating our meal we'd have the large attack boost so there is that right now but let's just go ahead and do some basic combos As you can see, it's not anything to call home about at the moment, but obviously we aren't nearly at our full capabilities at the moment. We don't have the full Kinsec boost, so let's go ahead and do that real quick naked and see how good it can get here. Oh, there we go. Oh, losing my mind. There we go. So now our attack is at 853, so let's just go ahead and see what we can do here. much better already and we don't even have gear equipped yet so we're looking pretty good as it is there we go our health is full already now let's go ahead and deal a little bit of damage real quick and oh man i didn't realize we lost consec boost there at the end uh, we'll go ahead and do a little bit more damage we'll see how much health regen we get just from like a little mid-air combo or something like that all right so we've gone ahead and done a little bit of damage got our consec boost back so let's just go ahead and do this here and nothing terrible. Oh, we got a bunch of negative crits on that. That was awesome. Gotta love negative affinity on weapons. All right. But yeah, pretty much it's pretty straightforward. So can we actually get one of these to land here? We got to do it like right about here. There we go. There we go. So you can see how that is. But let's go ahead and put some equipment on and see if we can get this going a little bit better. All right, so I've gone ahead and put together a pretty simple build for this. Now, I was going to go with the traditional Valhazak build, but using the Grunge Storm, the negative affinity was just a little too much to overcome with that particular build. So I am using a Maximum Might build, which is going to be a ground-based Insect Glaive build, although obviously you can flop around like a fool with it if you so desire. Uh, but we'll go ahead and go over the skills that are on this as well as the equipment. So we've got Attack Boost level 5, Weakness Exploit level 3, Maximum Might level 3, which gives us 30% affinity. So total with this build, we are going to be hitting for 70% affinity on weak spots. We've got Recovery Up level 2. Now, I wish I could get this up to Recovery Up level 3 because that's actually going to be what's basically going to increase our health recovery with this weapon and we've also got critical boost level 2 on here and handicraft level 2 to get us up to the white level of sharpness now for our decorations you can see here that we've got the recovery up jewels which increases our recovery when healing by 20 percent which is what that health region so that's pretty much 20 percent more health recovered per hit from the health region augmentation so for this particular build we are using the grunge storm nergagante helm beta kushala sista beta kaiser van braces beta nergagante coil beta and nergagante greaves beta using a two tenderizer jewels two critical jewels and two medicine jewels so it's pretty straightforward and you can improve upon this especially depending on the weapon that you have you'll have a lot more leeway with different weapons but since we are forced to use the grunge storm right now this is pretty much what we're going to have to live with so all in all i think it's still going to be pretty darn good so let's go ahead and just sharpen up here real quick and we'll go ahead and get into this now if you are the type of person that likes to flop around like a fool in the air 
Not that you are a fool doing it, it's just kind of... <laughs> it's a lot of fun, I'm not gonna lie. It is a lot of fun. Uh, but this particular build will not be good for that because you, when you're in the air, you're actually going to be consuming stamina and you won't get the 30% um, increase to your affinity. Because once you're actually in the air, you'll see that your stamina is depleting while attacking. So this build will not be good for if you just like doing that and not like attacking from the ground. But anyways, without further ado, let's just go ahead and go through a nice little thing here. And we can see just how well we are going. So that actually recovered quite a bit. That was just one iteration of our combo. And we already recovered half of our health. Pretty damn good. Oh, Jesus. That's actually really good. Okay, nice. <laughs> so basically two iterations of the basic combo and we regened our entire health bar. So that's actually, so what, six button presses? Uh, three, yeah. Times two is six. Really damn good. All right, so I am curious to see how it's going to regen with other attacks. We're just going to go ahead and do that real quick. We'll go ahead and do this, and then there we go. Leaping Slash recovers quite a bit. And I want to do the overhead smash, and then... Oh, I'm doing it all sorts of wrong. There we go. Let's do it this way. And I'm losing my mind because I didn't realize I had lost the King Sec bonus right when I hit record. And I'm losing my freaking mind. It's just another day in paradise, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. And one more. And there we go. Whew! I regen's health very, very quickly. So, let's go ahead and get this out in the real world, which is, I'm sure you guys all want to see. We'll put it up against basically the same thing we've been doing in the arena and see how good it can get. Alright, so we gotta go ahead and take some damage. I went ahead and got our Kinsect boost already, just so we can not have to worry about that. There we go. Alright. I don't want to take too much damage, though. So let's do some aerial combat here for a second and see how that does. So all in all, actually, really, if you're looking for a good way to regen health and not really take any damage, then that is definitely a good way to do it. So, we actually regened all of that health without too much of an issue. And we'll actually regen quite a bit of health while on top of the monster as well, if we actually had some health to regen. Um, but otherwise, so far, so good. I really like using this quest to actually showcase this. Let's see here. We might actually kill this thing before we even get hit again if we're not careful. So we might just kind of screw around here for a second. Maybe just showcase the actual damage of the build, maybe? All right, let's take a little bit more damage. Uh, you missed their home skillet. There we go. Oh, shit, you're going to throw me, aren't you? All right, let's catch fire, I guess. Come on. The one time I want you to hit me, you're just being a big old puss puss. Oh, shit. How did that stun me? All right, let's just go ahead and knock you out of the sky. There we go. <laughs> this health region is absolutely freaking amazing on this weapon. Holy crap. Especially with the amount of damage that we're doing. Woo! This might be my new favorite health region build, honestly. At least right now. So, I should sharpen. I don't have grinder on this build. Ooh, there we go. I should be using some wet fish fins or wet fish fin plus. Unfortunately, I have not had an opportunity to harvest any more of those, so it is what it is. Um, I suppose I should try and take some more damage, but you guys have seen just how freaking good it is so far. Come on, baby. There you go. Oh, shit. We don't have no Kinsec stuff. I think we'll survive. It's okay. Gotta say, I do love flopping around like a goof, but there we go. Take a little bit more damage while we get our Kinsec boost back. Man, I was hoping I would get there. Come on, hit me a little bit more. There we go. That's eh, not enough. 
<laughs> you know it's a good build when you are saying that you have not taken enough damage <laughs> yet. Oh my goodness. But anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video and or found it useful, don't forget to share support and smash that like button. Now we have showcased quite a few other weapons with the health augmentation. So if you want to check those out, definitely make sure to subscribe and check out those videos. There is a playlist for all of that. But anyways, I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.